Good morning everyone and welcome to the channel. This Bush Garden Junkies here and we have a special day today. We are celebrating a wonderful happy birthday. Three years to Dash and, Dash and Chase. Dash and Chase, that's right. The cheetahs, we, oh boy, did they grow up so fast. Well, we're gonna check it out and see what kind of celebration Bush Gardens has for them on their third birthday. Come join us. One of the scare zones that we missed when we were here on Hollow Scream was the junkyard. So we may have to go ahead and get some more tickets for Hollow Scream and check out that scare zone. It's not a haunted house, it's basically a walk through like a scare zone. But uh, yeah, surprisingly, uh, uh, reportedly, there's some good old fashioned stuff that was hidden back there now well, looks like iron Gwazi is running the line is forming let's see how long it takes for us to get on we are on a temporary delay because of a squirrel more than likely um We were on that train and as we were in and buckled in, a squirrel ran by. We think we think it was a squirrel that tripped a sensor. So we don't know what went wrong. We're now waiting because they have to treat it like any other temporary shutdown. And with Iron Gwazi, there's many, many sensors that can be tripped. One is if somebody is pushing on the gate, if the previous train comes in on that braking run and overshoots it, um, just to name a few of the things. So yeah, and there's many, many, many sensors. I don't know if, uh, well, yeah. There's a couple of sensors right there. Um, so yeah, there are sensors everywhere along this track. And uh, well, yeah, if any one of them, a squirrel goes by one of them and trips it, they'll have to shut down the ride. So yeah, I guess they got a maintenance guy going in there to check it out and see what's going on. We got our maintenance guys hard at work getting this ride up as soon as possible. Here we go.
She was running a little bit slow this morning. Now we'll but we still got air time. Great air time. And I already shown you guys a trick for the best air time. So go watch the previous videos. Death Water Bayou, Blood Moon, the final phase. That's right guys, Hollow Scream is still going on to the end of October. And this may be the last year we see Death Water Bayou. It is the final phase. So don't forget to come out and check out the haunted house. Come out to Hollow Scream 2022. Face your fear. Another one hiding over there. And one in the water over there. Two in the water. Three in the water. With a whole bunch of turtles. And some more turtles over there. Beyond the Veil, one of the uh, more cutie, funny scare zones here at Bush Gardens. And of course, during the day, it actually looks beautiful with all the different colors. You know, bright, vibrant colors at night. All these things glow in the dark. There's Sheet Hunt. And there it goes. Well, there is a cheetah out. Don't know which one it is. Maybe we go to the window over there and see if we can get a go closer look. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Hi. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. Hi there. Looking at your purple hair. Yeah, I know. How you doing? see any of the others out so I'm not sure which one this is but it is uh, October 14th and it is the birthday of Dash and Chase you would think that they would be out here together they are three years old so this weekend if you come to Bush Gardens don't forget to wish them a happy birthday another one of the best houses here Stranglewood Estate Here's our two turtle friends, tortoises actually. You got Big Jim and Bubba just hanging out in the water. How you two doing? How you boys doing, huh? Yeah, Bubba right here, and I believe it's Big Jim way back there. Oh, there we go. Our boys are doing good. Uh, just this past week, 
Busch Gardens finally made an official announcement about our dipping dot stand. Yeah, it's not going to be a dipping dot stand, guys. It is going to be the Serengeti Flyer. Opening up in spring of 2023. And it's going to take you up to 135 feet in the air at speeds of 68 miles an hour. You get a good view of the Serengeti and all its glory. Be like a kid again. Go back on your swing. Yep. Higher. 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 But I don't think you want to jump off of this swing. Uh, yep, there is some people working on there. And uh, if you watch some of the other videos, they still are working on the Q house. And so they got quite a bit to go, but spring of 2023, folks, we'll be able to relive our childhood and go on this swing. Now here in Pantopia, where you got the rides like the Phoenix, Falcon's Fury, Scorpion, and Sand Serpent. Out of those rides, Falcon's Fury is the best. That's a 330 foot drop. Unfortunately, the Falcon has been grounded and probably will be grounded for quite some time. Um, folks, yeah, I, parts are on order, from what I gather, uh, or on back order. And uh, we probably won't see the Falcon flying for at least a couple of months. Maybe not until next year. Stay tuned, we'll keep you up to date. Along with the Serengeti Flyer and its construction update. Well, we're here on, Monte, uh, on Kumba. One ride that we don't ride that often because it sometimes gives us a headache. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna give it a try today. We're in the front row. And here we go.
then again, this could have been the smoother train. <laughs> Guys, that was Kumba. <laughs> and Kumba, I believe in Swahili, means roar. And, well, you definitely heard the roar. So we got a very bumpy log. Not a bump on a log, but a bumpy log. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Uh. Nice little river ride in a log, mm -hmm. a bumpy log. And the purple didn't wash out of her hair. I would say something, but I'm not going to. Yeah, camera got wet too. <laughs> because this is a 35 minute wait. So, let's go and have some fun.
Did you feel like you were running like a cheetah? And there they go swimming. Oh, hon. Oh. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Have you had a good time today? Yes, I had a great time. So did I. Another great day at Bush Gardens. This is definitely our happy place. And uh, yeah, we got to ride the rides. We didn't get to go on the train and we didn't get to see the new baby rhino. And unfortunately, we didn't get to see Dash and Chase for their birthday. So, but we did get to ride the rides and see the other animals. Uh, thank you for watching and stick around and we'll have some more content out for you shortly.